string lovers, David Pichet here and welcome to my channel. In today's episode, I'm gonna talk about the Grip by Myers Pickup. This hybrid device is an in-between of a microphone and a pickup. Is this the secret weapon that all string players has been waiting for? Let's find out together, shall we? Let's go! <laughs> Okay, so now you've seen what's in the box and how to install this pickup, let's talk about the sound. I said at the beginning of the video that this is a hybrid device, an in-between of a pickup and a microphone. Basically, as you can see, this actually kind of looks like a microphone and it, it does act like a microphone. One of the big advantage of it is you don't need any phantom power to power it. As soon as you put your quarter inch cable inside of that little box, it activates that three volt battery inside that mi mini preamp and it works. So that's one of the big thing. You can use this as a pickup, but the sound is, is more like a microphone-like sound. You'll hear it in your ears. Um, you can judge by yourself. What's kind of cool is you have that gooseneck uh, that can be placed as you like. You have that volume here. That volume knob, I would say, keep it to the maximum at all time. This device, there's basically a preamp, but you absolutely need a preamp to really unleash the potential of this device. I would say this has a pretty nice sound and you'll hear it um, and has a lot of potential, but this is not a preamp to boost your sound. You need another device. Right now, I'll use my Apollo Twin. I'm using this preamp from that card. I'm not using any external thing for this recording, but I'm at 45 dB. So I'm basically boosting 45 dB uh, to be able to power properly this pickup. Uh, this is no problem. When you play any shows, the guy at the board will give you enough power to power this and make your sound beautiful. Uh, if you record as well at home, this won't be a problem. Or you want to have all control on your sound, you will need a preamp like an LR bag, uh, an Aura, or a Felix if you have more, uh, more dough. So what you're going to hear is this straight in my sound card. In your ears, I'm going to do the no reverb, with reverb, and with effects. Have in mind, this is a pickup, but it's really kind of a microphone. For this test, I'm gonna show you um, how it can sound with effects, but have in mind that this is in a studio setup. Don't use that really like next to loud instruments. You're not gonna have a great result. Okay, for a few specs about this pickup, I'm gonna put a graph, but on the graph you'll see it goes from 20 to 16,000 Hertz. Is this uh, an issue? I know some pickup or, or microphone would go to 20,000, 22,000. I don't think it's an issue. Uh, that's just the spec of this microphone. I think they chose to do that curve. Enjoy guys, listen to the video till the end. I'm gonna give my appreciation of it and all of the other info that you actually would love to hear about. So thanks again, see you in a bit.
Disclaimer, this is a pickup I got given to try and test with my band String Puppies. I'm always, always very, very transparent with all my reviews, whatever. If you give me the, the pickup or the microphone or whatever it is, I'm going to review it as a piece of gear that, you know, I want people to know if it's good or not. There you go. This pickup, I would have to say, um, build quality wise, it's it's well built, it's very well done. There's one thing I said in the old reviews about it was the fact that under, I'm gonna take it off. Okay, under this, you had nothing. Right now, you can see I have cork. Um, they just add that. Uh, probably they heard us and they were like, yeah, that's pretty cool, that's a good idea. Um, there's little like rubber, rubber feet. Where are they? Uh, there's that little plastic bag. You can see in the what's in the box. You can see here they were adding like rubber feet uh, that you could put on. But rubber on wood is not the greatest. Uh, now they're adding some uh, round thing like this, but with cork, which is a super great idea. So I think this really bump the. Um, the quality of it, just the fact that they're thinking about it. At first, they didn't have anything, so that's why I kind of modify it myself. Uh, and they heard and they changed it, so that's really good. Um, it's in plastic, but I don't think it's like a, really a problem. I think it's really well done. Um, the little battery, they give you an extra one so you can change it. That's pretty sweet. The knob, well, like it's really nice. This thing, it's bendy, it's flexible. You can really like make it your own windshield you could take it off and if you want you could really like redirect your microphone that's that's really sweet so i would say build quality is really nice ergonomy wise the fact you have to put it there it's very classic in uh in pickups having that like it's the same with uh, a pickup like fishman and stuff like this the only thing i have to say is the fact that it's pretty big um probably you heard in the in the video um it kind of muffle it's not bad i don't think it's a bad thing but if you try it you'll see when you play your violin you know how it vibrates this kind of cuts some of the natural vibration of the instrument because of the the, the piece that it's pretty big you know on the the violin so obviously i wouldn't keep that at all time because it would kind of like affect the classical sound of my instrument at all time but when i need a pickup i think this is a compromise that I can really live with. I don't really care about it, to be honest. Uh, I think the sound, even if it muffled the sound, it's fine. I'm fine with it. Uh, I just have to say it. The price, this is $199. This price is insane. $200, guys. An ATM 35 would be like probably uh, 300 bucks, 600 something, or almost $700 for a DPA. It's you know, price-wise, this is a steal. When I say secret weapon, I mean it. That's pretty much it, guys. 
Uh, sound wise, you could actually do it. EQ wise, in the video, I haven't done any EQ, so this is the flat response. Yes, in my mix, when I do a song, I do use EQ, but this is a review to show you a flat, exactly how this pickup sounds. Not like how I would do it in the mix. That's how this pickup sounds by itself without any transformation. Myers Pickup is a family-owned company by Greg Myers. This man is a very nice, a very genuine person. He's listening to his customers, to his client. He's a really nice man and all of his family are working super hard for this company. So I would actually recommend you to buy something from them, help them out. Uh, you know, it's a local business uh, from California. They're really nice. They will answer all of your emails. Like I said, at that price, I think it's a steal. Giving it an 8.5 out of 10. I recommend this product. I love it. I think it's great. Is it the best pickup? Probably not. Is it the best microphone? Probably not. But it's in between that will serve all of your needs. I think it's a great sounding uh, device. If you're looking for a microphone that doesn't need fandom power, that is a very low cost and it sounds pretty nice. I mean, don't look further. I think that's it. So guys, if you want any other pickup, microphone, reviews, write down below in the comments. I'm gonna like try to like do more of these. Uh, I have really good response on the other videos that I did. So I think you guys like it. I'm gonna do a series of effects. So I have the electric violins that I haven't like talk too much about. Uh, I have a couple of violins that I want to show and explain and give you some advice on um, the best pedal board you can make for an electric violin. So if you're interested, write down below, yes, please do it. And I will. So please, thanks again for watching. I'm doing it for you guys to help you out when you do your purchase. If you're new in the business of string instruments and amplifying them, so if you really like what you've seen, please drop a like, comment, uh, share with your friends that probably would like that type of content. Uh, I have like cover videos on my channel as well on top of all of that. And um, guys, play your violin, play your string instrument, stay creative, think outside the box. That's the key. See you in the next video, guys. Peace.